Hello guys, my name is Sid from Ultimate Infotech and this is Computer Hardware Tutorial Chapter 2. So today I am going to talk about memory. Uh, the memory which you use in your computer. I am talking about that. So in this memory we will find out floppy drive which is around, uh, very much old. Uh, it's about uh, at the period of uh, Jurassic Park. This is a very old uh, memory and it uh, contains only floppy uh, which is uh, not uh, you will not find it in, in market and it contains only 4 MB data which is nothing a single file is more than 4 MB so let's move on to hard disk so hard uh, I believe you know hard disk about uh, what this hard disk is the way very large you will, uh, you will get uh, various uh, range like uh, 40 GB 80 GB up to 1 TB and as well as you can also get 1 petabyte also but that's very rare but uh, normally you will get a uh, 1 terabyte uh, hard disk in this hard disk you can make various partition in which you can uh, save your uh, operating system which will um, hardly uh, it will take uh, to 40 GB 40 GB or uh, 50 GB is uh, enough for uh, operating system if you have a 1 terabyte memory uh, hard disk or whatever you have you can make various partition on it you can divide it and you can keep operating system in C drive and you can make various uh, drive where you can save your various kind of stuff what is the speed of uh, this hard disk like uh, in this hard disk you, know, you will find a disk a metal disk which may uh, which makes a rotation inside and as much as the speed of the disk will be like uh, uh, if your hard disk is giving a uh, thousand rpm uh, one point uh, one thousand five hundred rpm as much as rpm it will give more and more your computer will be fast if its rpm is very low then it will be slow for your computer so if you want to buy a hard disk must check what its rpm what is the rotation speed of the disk in computer hardware uh, chapter you will learn uh, i believe you know about ram and rom and you also know the full form of RAM and ROM like RAM is random access memory in market you will find out DDR1 RAM, DDR2 RAM, DDR3 RAM these are the various types if your motherboard supports uh, DDR1 RAM you can use only DDR1 if your motherboard supports DDR2 you will DDR2 and if your uh, motherboard support DDR3 then DDR3 uh, to, en uh, to enhance your uh, performance of your computer you can use uh, 4 uh, up to uh, more than 2 GB in uh, RAM it will make your computer fast if you use lower than 2 GB your computer will be respond little bit slower than uh, 2 GB 4 GB 6 GB 8 GB RAM some of your computer also have 32 gigs of uh, RAM so and you also need to check how much RAM will your computer support so this random access memory it basically does, uh, does that uh, it uh, manipulates the file it reads file it, uh, it uh, randomly access the file it takes uh, that file from uh, your hard disk and transfer it to your processor uh, and show it to your uh, monitor this is the circle take it from uh, your hard disk to RAM to your processor then after every calculation and whatever the process it's done, it does then you see in your uh, monitor so this only gives you the high performance and after you uh, after you turn off your computer everything every data which it saved it got erased 
nothing to worry about because every data will be your in your hard disk so it just randomly access your memory when you shut it down every memory goes lost so that's it now it's about rom uh, read only memory which is uh, cd rom what it basically does uh, that uh, you have a cd you insert in your cd drive it reads the file that's only you can't do any kind of editing if to do editing uh, you need a uh, nero software and do various stuffs but basically if you have a cd you have everything in that cd just ins insert your cd in your cd drive then you will just see those files you can't do any kind of editing on that because cd doesn't run like pen drive so that's why it's only rom read only memory not do any kind of access in ram you can randomly access your memory but rom will give you the permission to read only so we all know floppy disk is used by uh, dinosaurs and uh, we use uh, cds which is also getting old because uh, most uh, basically uh, most of the technicians or uh, and you uh, you also don't use a cd that much because you use this this is the flop uh, sorry this is not floppy this is a pen drive i believe you know everything about this what it does how useful it is you basically you all already know everything about this like uh, you will get in uh, various size like uh, 1 gb 1 gb is too old uh, nowadays 2 gb 4 gb 6 gb 8 gb not 6 sorry 2 4 8 16 32 64 bit na uh, 64 gigs of uh, what's this pen drive sorry this is the pen drive so basically uh, i all uh, i use this uh, i use only 16 gb pen drive because that's enough for uh, to keep all my softwares all my uh, that not contains any uh, operating system i keep only uh, my softwares in this so please check out my channel here is my uh, channel please go there and you will also find out a video about this pen drive that uh, how will you keep your operating system in this as well as without using any cds or uh, cd drives you can format your computer with this pen drive cd is a headache i basically use pen drive i use operating uh, i keep operating system in this i keep software in this and it will stays in a corner of your pocket it won't harm it won't break so these are that's all so i told you everything every five uh, memories which you need uh, in computer world sorry you don't need floppy so four memories which you need is cd drive hard disk ram as well as pen drive so that's it so if you think my video is quite interesting and useful so then please like our video and please subscribe our channel so that you can be so that you can learn something and you will be a technician like me you can do your uh, teachings from here you can uh, learn various cool moves what can how can you download videos how can you make a bow just like diy project learning computers and various lots of uh, things so please keep eye on our channel thank you very much